even though I just said Dizzy Star Wars isn't real, there is one. There was one great thing that did come out of Dizzy Star Wars. That's Gina Carano. We all love Gina. Remember, I've been on. I have been on the Gina bandwagon since 2012 when I saw her in American Gladiators, and I thought, "Damn, she's hot." So I've been sipping for Gina long before any of y'all were. All right, get behind me. Point is, Gina. I barely uh, remember 2012, so yeah, you beat me there. Yeah, shut up. Anyway, uh, I, I I was happy to see that Gina was getting work. I wasn't happy that it was Disney Star Wars. I was even less happy when all that shit went down, and we all agreed Gina did nothing wrong. And it has done nothing but solidify her as an icon in the fellowship in our sphere. And she interacts with our sphere. She's friends with people in our sphere. And that's just a cool ass thing. And well, Jed, you know, a guy who happens to work a lot with Gina, don't you? I I know uh, a, a individual who works an with her quite closely and a lot of people who know her personally. And I'm actually going to meet her in a couple yeah. weeks. Yep, you're going to meet her at Megacon. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. So uh, we know for a fact, because we have on the ground reporting through Geeks and Gamers, that uh, Gina is quite successful at conventions, correct? Oh, yeah. She, her lines dwarf most other people's. Like, it's kind of sad how many classic celebrities don't get as good of yeah. um, interaction as she does. And uh, when she has her interactions at a convention, does anything untoward happen? Not that I've ever heard of. In fact, it's more positive, more fan love, more positivity in those lines from so, what I so understand. No, no danger situations. Nobody feels threatened. Uh, well, it's not a screening of Frozen 2, so yeah, everyone's okay. <laughs> yeah, so then this happened on Friday night, and I thought... One, I wasn't going to waste it on Ballbusters, which is why I didn't bring it up then. I was going to save it for today. I uh, I saw this, and and everybody saw it that night, and it has since been talked about quite 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 prominently by uh, high level individuals in the fellowship. But we got this from Global BC, Global. That's a Canadian. A recent addition to Vancouver Fan Expo's guest list is raising eyebrows. Some fans say inviting Gina Carano could create an unsafe environment at the convention following her controversial Saudi media posts. Wow. <laughs> um, well, it, it does make sense it, because these people, they are threatened by anyone who doesn't agree with them entirely, and they equate disagreement and negative words as actual violence. So by their warped, insane definition, yes, it will be an unsafe environment. But for normal people who... Just like, hey, it's Gina Carano. That's awesome. Gina, it's going to be just can, like the convention would be otherwise. Can you sign my merch? Yeah. Uh, of course, the one time the Disney Star Wars succeeds in making a great, strong female independent character, they screw <laughs> it up. Yeah, they screw it up because guess what? Uh, she, uh, she happened to just not sign on to your agenda. She, she actually has a mind of her own. She's not part of the hive mind, and she's a free thinker. And can't have that. And she also gets along with the the real fans. Mm -hmm. And she she was positively interacting with real fans. You can't have that. Can't have that. Well, I have so, a question. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. What does okay? Now, because I'm not asking this to be um be a schmuck. I just really don't know. <laughs> what does unsafe environment mean anymore? I don't know. Exactly. Um, what we were growing up, unsafe environment means somebody yeah. like bring a gun. Or somebody that might <laughs> do something to hurt the public. So, what does that mean anymore? Uh, you hurt my fifis. Yeah. Someone here. you disagree Ouch. with might be within a hundred mile radius of you. That's, That's unsafe. ridiculous. Okay, oh so the fact that you're showing up, these yeah. soy milk individuals are butthurt that their feelings are hurt retrospectively. Not even that. They're they're afraid because somebody has a different ideological belief system than them. Mm -hmm. Well, and they uh, they're going to say that they think there's going to be mass shootings and mass violence. So they think disagreement means you're going to yeah. Minecraft us all. Yeah, that I mean, is what they're thinking is going to happen because I mean, listen, they disagree. Listen, I have disagreements all the time with all y'all. We we have nerd fights all the time, and then it's over. That's us joking around, and. 
there's no violence around Gina Carano. As Jay, as as Jed pointed out, it's nothing but love around her. People mm-hmm. just want to interact with her and talk with her and have her sign their merch and maybe get a hug. My That's chest. What they want. Sign my. I'm chest. trying. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Not to. Graphic All here. taco meat. Let's just get it done. Just get, get it on. <laughs> 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 uh, look, but look, hey, look. listen. I'm working right, to keep right, my simp under control her. here. Okay, come on. Yeah, of course. But well, I was trying to her when, when, back when she was uh, back when she was a fighter. MMA. You know, like, yeah. Because you're I, into I, I MMA. Loved, I loved her when she did MMA. Yeah. Because like I come from that background, so I'm like, yeah. oh, she's great and she's wonderful, and I love her. And then when she transitioned um, into an actress, it was tremendous because to, for me, it's not somebody that, something that I've ever seen in my lifetime to have a successful legitimate in-ring competitor to actually trans uh, as a, a female anyway mm-hmm. a female uh competitor to translate over into actually being an actress and somebody being uh, doing roles that i actually enjoy yeah. so Dude. like like she to say the least she's a, a woman of the people is, is an understatement when she popped up in, in deadpool i was like hey I, I know her hey it's gina all right cool yeah I mean, <laughs> we were robbed of her tit popping out though Dude, yeah don't, yeah yeah i know, I know. yeah <laughs> I know. Fucking I, I Colossus. Really, I really. <laughs> that made me laugh that day. <laughs> Anywho, but th- this is how ridiculous all of this is. The, the, the fact that a bunch of panty waist little soy boys and soy girls are think that there's going to be violence, there's going to be unsafe environment at a convention because Gina Caron is going to be there. No, you're just afraid because. It would prove your whole narrative wrong. That's what it boils down to. Her existence proves their narrative wrong. Not only that, the fact that she's a a fun person, a nice person, but that the actual fans who want to interact with her are not raging lunatics. That we are organized. We're nice. We're calm. We're excited as nerds would be excited. We're not tearing shit down to cause a ruckus in her name. So I find this completely ridiculous and it's sad and it's stupid that we even have to talk about it all this time later. Nothing wrong with fans and Gina Carano did nothing wrong. Thanks for watching everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there, who knows, at the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.